So yeah, very exciting day yesterday, the largest ever investment by an IT organization in Malaysia. So like all the investments we make, it's really based on customer demand signals, you know, and so we've been around now since 2006 and we've had customers in Malaysia almost as long as that. And so really we've seen a lot of momentum across all industry certs, verticals and customer segments. So Petronas, mm. CEO spoke on stage yesterday at the launch event, um, Paz Malaysia spoke, Paynet, the payments network spoke, Carsum, the first unicorn in Malaysia. So really strong momentum across a really diverse set of customers, which really stimulated uh, the investment. So Connor, describe this, uh, and I think this is your label here, uh, infrastructure region in Malaysia. What, what, what does that look like? Yeah, so we have this concept of availability zones, which is a cluster of data centers. And then within an availability zone, we have three availability zones in a region. And the reason we do that is to provide resilient architecture for our customers. So we have 31 of these globally, and we all, they're all built to the exact same specifications. And the one in Malaysia would be no different. And that's really the foundation of how we built AWS back as far as 2006. And to your point earlier, we also have a, a region in Singapore since 2010, Indonesia. We launched in December 2021, and we pre-announced Thailand, as you mentioned, in September last year. And Malaysia is our, our latest one. Hi, Connor. This is Christine. Uh, it, what's in it for Amazon? I mean, what do you get out of it in terms of business, in terms of new pillars of growth, in terms of revenue? What are you getting out of the infrastructure region? Yeah, well, first of all, we think about these investments over a really long term horizon. And we think about one of the things that differentiates Amazon is that we have a, we're unusually long term orientated. So we think about not only the infrastructure investment in the countries, but also the investments we're making in upskilling the local communities in our local team and the partner network. And we believe if we do that, there's a really strong and vibrant business for us. If we take a step back globally, Less than 10% of IT spend is in the cloud today. And we believe in Southeast Asia, it's less than 5%. So while we are the market leader and we've been around for 17 years this month, it's still really, really early in this journey to the cloud. So, and we have high conviction that if we execute well and continue to do what we've been doing for the last 17 years, we can play a big role in the digital economies of all these countries for the next decade.